from The Home Blondie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY glow serum. I have been using this on my face for probably about four years now. When I first started using essential oils, this was one of the first like beauty DIYs that I made and I have been using it ever since. So the reason that I love it is number one, it's made with all natural ingredients. Two, it is so cheap to make it. And three, it is actually effective. So I use this at morning and at night and I actually use it three different ways. So number one, when I wake up in the morning, I will first like cleanse my face and then I follow up with the glow serum. So I'll just put a few drops in my hands. You do not need very much. And I put it all over my face, all over my neck and a little bit on my chest. And because I can be a little puffy in the morning, I will use a rose quartz roller and I will just roll out my skin and that just helps decrease inflammation. And you want to use an oil when you do that so that you're not like tugging on your skin. After I use this in the morning, I'll put on my vitamin C serum, my moisturizer and my sunscreen. And I feel like the combination of all of those things just makes a really good base for my makeup. So I use a cream foundation, sometimes a liquid foundation and I feel like having this base just helps my makeup to go on really smoothly and it doesn't get like stuck in any little wrinkles or creases. It's also really good if you're not going to be wearing any makeup because it just gives your skin a little bit of hydration and just like a glow. That's why we call it the glow serum. So when you go out in the sun, it's going to reflect off of the serum and just give you that really natural like glowy dewy look. And then I use it two different ways at night. So the first way that I use it is I'll just put a couple of drops in my hand, rub them together, and then I use it to remove my makeup. So it seriously it just erases the makeup right off of your face. I just kind of rub it all around. Sometimes I'll use a cotton ball if I need to like get my mascara off, but then I just get right in the shower and it just makes washing my face so much easier because I don't have to like rub as hard and it just gets all of the makeup off. And then after I get out of the shower and I've already cleansed my face, then I will follow up with a toner, my glow serum again, and then I usually will use a vegan retinol and a moisturizer. And that is my nighttime skincare routine. And using this glow serum has seriously transformed my skin. I'm telling you, my skin used to be so red and blotchy and this has completely evened out my skin tone, decreased the redness and the inflammation. And like I said, it is so cheap to make. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Okay, so what you're going to need for this DIY glow serum is a glass bottle. So the reason that you want to use glass is because essential oils can actually eat away at plastic. So I have this one, I believe it's four ounces and I get these off of Amazon. And um, you just wanna make sure that you get one with a dropper. I think this is called a pipette, but I'm not exactly sure. But I'll link these in the description box below. Below. And then I just made this little glow label with my Cricut. So you want to have a bottle to put your ingredients in. For the base of your glow serum, I recommend jojoba oil and I get this one from Trader Joe's, but you can also get this from Amazon or a lot of other health food stores. And you just want to make sure that it is 100% pure and organic. And the reason that you want to use jojoba oil is because it does not clog your pores. So the next thing that you're going to need are your essential oils. So I get all of my essential oils from the company Young Living and I buy my oils from there because they have the highest quality oils in the world. They have farms all over the world and just their entire process of like farming and distilling their plants is really high quality and their oils actually work. So you can customize your glow serum however you need to for your skin type. Over the years, I've kind of changed up my recipe a little bit or just depending on what my skin is needing. At that time, I'll switch up the oils, but when I first started making it, I would do frankincense, copaiba, and lavender. And then I've just kind of switched out some oils here and there over the years, like I said. So today I'm going to make it 
with Copaiba. I like this one because it helps reduce inflammation in your skin so I can run like a little puffy. So I like this one to take down just like inflammation and redness. Lavender is really good for like soothing your skin. So especially in the summer when I'm out in the sun a lot, this really helps my skin to heal after it's been in the sun. And the other oils that I'm going to use are geranium and tea tree. And the reason that I'm using these is because one, they help with acne, but geranium just smells so good. So I love to put this one in there. Now there isn't really a specific science or formula for how many drops you should put in your glow serum. It does kind of depend on how big your bottle is and how much you want to dilute it. So if you are just getting into using essential oils, maybe your skin is like a little sensitive, then I would make sure to dilute your essential oils quite a bit. So you would use way more jojoba oil than you would the essential oils. Since I have been using them on my skin for years without any issues, I'm just gonna go ahead and do about 20 to 30 drops of each oil. So we'll go ahead and put them in this bottle first and then I will top off the rest of it with the jojoba oil. Well, that is it for this video. As you can see, it is so easy to make this glow serum and it will completely change your skin. You will love it. I will leave all of the ingredients and supplies in the description box below. So if you have any questions, then feel free to comment on this video, send me an email or find me on Instagram at the home blondie. That will all be in the description box below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye!